Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the good people at FM Wonder Kids. We've been away for a while but we're back and we're back to look at the future of Welsh football. So here in 2021 we have a list of the great and the good. Top of the list is our man Aaron Ramsey. Rambo. You can see he's still got the first touch. He's a good finisher. He's got composure. He's got all the teamwork, vision and work rate you'd want for a centre midfielder. So you can see he really does shine right into his 30s. If you have a look at his history, you can see his average rating is really good throughout consistently playing games for Arsenal and he's never left the club. So he's quite a loyal player. So that's Rambo, top of the tree. He is the future of Welsh football. Next, we've got our man, Gareth Bale, you can see he's lost a little bit of pace here, it is 2021 and he is currently 31 years old but he's still got all that technical ability, look at that, long shots, still got the great free kick taking ability, take penalties, technically very good, off the ball, he's still got the pace, he has still got the pace and you can see he started off his career left back, he started at Southampton, then went to Tottenham, got bought for £85 million, pounds, moved to Real Madrid as the most expensive player in the world. His average ratings on the game here aren't mm, as good as you'd expect, but we all know Gareth Bale and we all know he's a world beater. Next on our list, we've got a guy called Jordan Williams. He's a centre-back and he's got all the attributes you're looking for, Mark, apart from heading maybe. So he's got tackling, marking, he lacks a little bit on heading, but he is six foot tall as you can see there so he's got the height and he's got a bit of pace as well well acceleration anyway he's got the strength and positioning ability so he's quite a solid little centre back there if you look at his history his average ratings aren't great so maybe maybe the future for Welsh football isn't that bright let's have another look let's see who's next Harry Wilson 24 I believe this guy starts off at Liverpool great dribbler attacking midfielder can play anywhere front so he can dribble he's got a good first touch and technique maybe lacking a little bit mentally but he's got pace in abundance if we have a little look at his graph here maybe not dominating but if we have a look at his mm, his average rating isn't that great either but he's a steady little winger and i'm sure he will put in performances if you get him and develop him ben davis we all know about ben davis superb left back plays for tottenham still playing for tottenham on this game Great technical ability, great mental ability, great physicality. Very, very, very good left back. Definitely snap him up if he is becomes available. You can see here his average rating is pretty decent. He plays all the time for Tottenham, who have a very good team indeed. Next here is Elliot Hewitt. He's 27 when in 2021. And you see he's a right back, so you can see he's a... He's a long throw specialist, which is always good to have in your fullbacks. And again, he's not the greatest fullback, but he's got some positioning ability and he's got some physicality as well. So you have a look at his graph. I'm not expecting fireworks, but it is quite rounded. So we can have a look at his history there. He's playing for Millwall and he's having pretty decent average ratings. So maybe something, someone worth checking out. Let's have a little look at Joey Allen, the Welsh Javi, as we call him, down here in the valleys. Marking, tackling, he's dropping off a little bit. I'm guessing he's getting quite old. Yeah, he's 31, so he's dropped off a little bit, but he's still mentally very good, and he's got the natural fitness there and the first touch. So the Welsh Javi, definitely worth a punt. His average ratings are pretty decent, but he's not getting that many games at Liverpool, so maybe that suggests to me why he hasn't developed as much as he might have. Going down the list a little bit, a little shout-out we'll give to Johnny Williams. Great prospect for Welsh football. We expect him to develop a lot better than this, but he does look good. So his dribbling, his first touch is great. His passing is really good as well. Great bravery. Not the quickest, but you can see he's a technical little player. Look out for this guy. He will be a superstar, mark my words. And he's playing for Crystal Palace at the moment. But yeah, he's a great little player. Definitely worth buying him, sticking him in your team and trying to develop him. Another shout out here goes to Emmy Hughes. A lot of people saying he's a future of Welsh football. Great passer of the ball. He's got long shots in him as well. Centre midfielder. He can play defensive centre midfielder as well. He can also play in the attacking role. 
failed to make the plane for Euro 2016 just by the skin of his teeth, but he is the future, so look out for this guy. He's playing for Sunderland here in 2021. Another shout out here to my man, Ashley Richards. Reliable little fullback for us at the moment. He's got the physicality, which is half the battle when you're playing right back and you're running up and down the wings. You need the stamina and the work rate is essential. So he's playing for Fulham. He looks like he hasn't moved clubs. You look at his graph there and it's pretty decent. And he's still in, he's still 30 and he's still got that pace and that physicality. So he's definitely someone worth having a little cheeky look at. Well, that was it guys. Short and sweet. Our future of Welsh football is looking bright. Even those guys when they get into their 30s, they're still going to have the technical ability to drive Wales forward and who knows we could see a golden future of Welsh football that's it for now a lot more videos coming soon be sure to subscribe and like this video